All right, guys, welcome back to Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, my first playthrough. Last time we started as Antea Duarte, professional banisher. They came to New Eden to help with a curse that they have, which was actually a nightmare. In facing said nightmare, Antea lost her life. Her apprentice, Red McRaith, is now taking over and tries to lift the curse or remove the nightmare. The ghost of Antea is with him now, and we can play both at the same time. The ghost of Antea and him in physical material form. We've been exploring and trying to get out back towards New Eden right now, and on the way there we met... I think his name is Jacob. And he said that his friend Ben is lost in the woods and in the fog. And we found the corpse that a certain somebody has been eaten from. Uh, it was one of the side quests. And um, he was eating the flesh of his friend Ben. And he was completely delusional and was um, de basically... I think his subconscious was locking that information away. <laughs> that he killed his friend and ate him. They were both very hungry and desperate and lost in the fog. We made them come to terms and we freed the spirit of Benedict and now he's making a grave for the remains, which is very, very, very sweet of him. Benedict Souten, my friend whom I ate. <laughs> I don't know if you need to put that info on there, mate. Oof. All right, let's see if we can talk. Oh there, Jacob. Jacob, yeah. I'll uh, be on my way now. Take care of yourself, lad. Is there somewhere you can go? Maybe. If they'll have me, if I can find them. Maybe you shouldn't mention as an introduction that you've been eating as your friend. That might not be the best way to start. All right. Um, return to the broken bridge. Is it this way or up here? Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Spectral stains? Can I jump down here? No, I cannot. Okay. Shimmy, shimmy. Shim, shimmy, shim, shimmy. Yeah, I have my makeup inspired by Antea. I really like her style. She looks pretty cool. So um, I figured I'd try to make my own version of it. That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Can I show your face? Stop vanishing! <laughs> Uh, align the stains. Ah, okay, I think I know. Can I walk down here now? Ah, he know- Ah, yeah, we got some rope from Jacob the other day. So now we can go down here and then we can switch to Antea and align. I guess. What there was a there was a pop up? Is it Okay, sorry. <laughs> the the pop up would always disappear. Come with me. Where are we going? Never better. Oh, I'm her again? Okay. What's this swirly swirl? Oh, so this means I can jump around, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. No, 
should I go down here? I guess now that we have the, the rope, we can always ascend and descend. Oh, there's resources! Look at all the loot! Oops, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> In Tomb Raider, the triangle is the picking up loot button. Oh boy. Further down, all right. It's probably pretty much off the road, but well. Infinite rope. How much climbing is there in this area? My god. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I thought I'm just going off route a little bit to grab some stuff, you know? <laughs> now this is a whole new area. Wait, is this where I found the body? Wasn't he here? <gasps> oh, I'm curious. Oh, I'm curious. Gotta have a look. Maybe we can find a cool chest or something. Don't bonk your head. Ooh. Picking up something spectral nearby. Where? 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 Over there. Okay. Wrong button again. <laughs> I'm probably probably gonna drink a lot more potions today <laughs> accidentally. Uh oh, there it is. So cool. Loot, 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 loot! Spectral dust and piece of eight. Sweet. Okay, we can go back. Hey everybody, welcome in. Okay, I've seen some loot here. I think these are necessary for some rituals. Hmm. Okay, I'm just looking around a little bit so I can maybe get more stuffs. Oh, we, uh, we fought some, some nasties around here. I see loot, loot over there. Oh, maybe I can shimmy around the corner here to grab this. Or there's a way to get further down. I don't see anything, though. Can I jump? Oh, wait. Wait, wait. I saw a shiny. Yoink. Wee. Huh, there's more loot down there. Okay, let's let's just go off the road a little bit. Enjoy the nature. <laughs> Ooh, in a cave? I don't know if we've been here before. All of this seems so familiar. Yeah, I've definitely seen this corpse. So we probably have been yeah, we've been in there. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay, so now to get back up. It's following the scenic route, yeah. <laughs> okay, 3,000 meters, okay. Is that roughly two miles, so. Huh? Up here we go. Reach New Eden Town. Let me climb up here. Um, I feel like this guy, Rack McGrath, Red McGrath, he looks so much like Arthur Morgan. Uh, like, quite a lot, <laughs> I think. Just with a Scottish accent. Might be... Wait, there's something to do, but th this, what I can do here is just the zooming over the bridge, right? Okay. That jump was quite something. 
Ghosts are quite something. Wait, but I feel clumsy. Way. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Oh, stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. <laughs> I will. So, they wanted me to go this way, but ultimately I was supposed to go the way that... Here, this way. Oh, there's loot! I almost missed it. How could I? find a way to reach the other side so we just make a right big berth around it oh i saw a few wisps oh and some ghosts no way spectres. through here neither far as i can see but some fun ahead let's go oh 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 okay maybe i can pick them off one by one leap with antea use the leap to engage combat and get and stay instantly close to your target. Such manifestation consumes spirit points and will need to cool down before being used once more. LB, okay, I'll try to remember. <laughs> Wait, I need to lock on. around real quick okay nothing spectral activities you have found a cluster of spectral activity as a banisher it is your job to eliminate the threat your health points and decoction charges will be fully restored at the start and at the end of this encounter eliminating a cluster grants permanent power bonus so I activate this now and then there will be a swarm coming spectres out spectres have gathered around why not force them to appear I just killed a few Okay. Perform the summon scourge, I guess. Sustain through compelling words, carving, or drawing of the Aquila constellation. This ritual will force all types of scourges, harvester, rage, sorry, etc., to reveal themselves. More damage when Antea has low spirit points. Make manifest, maybe? I'm not sure which one it was. Perform ritual, damn it. Maybe make manifest? What? Can I join in too? Sure. Come on, try something. There's more of them. Don't let that specter get to the corpse. Get out of there. No, what? No, oh, wrong button. You shouldn't stay in there. Oh, what does it do? Oh, freaking hell. Bam! Devil take you. Changing the 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 ghost that I'm locked on. Watch out, Spectre Did we miss a few? 
What do you mean, miss a few? All but for Menzet. Look out! For what? What is it? Oh, okay. Watch out. Spectre position. No, look at the other one. Bam! I can oh. <laughs> Too late. Damage when Ante has Whisper. I don't understand. Is this one boosting the other? Aha, uh -huh, it has arrows. Okay, I see now. Almost there. So he's like a shaman that is just boosting. This bite's not easily chewed. Die? No, no. Holy shit, he's toughened up. I'm not gonna stay down. This fight's not easily chewed. Great, now I have no healing anymore <laughs> because I constantly misclick. there okay nest defeated okay okay got it got it okay let's pick up well, all the things icy, you know, but do you see a way up i sadly <laughs> i still have to get used to x being the the healing button and not another button so i m sometimes misclick it plays a lot like other games that I've played where X or square is the attack button, so sometimes my my finger just whoops. That was not attack. Okay, find a way to reach the other side. Maybe this way. Hmm. It looks Something's like it could nearby. Where is it? What is nearby? There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just trying to be gentle this time. Yeah, I know upgrading is relatively easy if you have the materials, but you need to uh, need to be in a base for it in a camp. So all the interior materials in the world don't really make any use to me unless I get to a point where I can use them. <laughs> I don't understand what these threats mean. Do I have to position myself in the right way? Is this... maybe this always means you can... Oh, okay. I think I get it. You always have to find the right position and then she can zoom over to places. I guess. Oh, there's some stuff around. Let me switch over to him. Do 
I don't think I could do anything with with this stuff here. On this, I could maybe crouch down. <laughs> All right. Here. That's high. Trust me. Boom. <clears throat> yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. <laughs> Get motion sick. Oh. So yes, most of the time it's easier to dodge into um, stuff like that, so you could, you know, get the materials out of it and destroy the boxes, but sometimes he just dashes backward, although you aim forward. Abandoned journal, the year is 1695, of this at least, I'm sure. Following the new Smiths was a mistake. After abandoning our homes and trudging the dark woods through rain and storm, our group arrived in what was once a hunter's camp. The bridge to Boston is down, and we can go no further. Our flight to freedom was a fool's errand. The, m the memory of our home in New Eden Town seems distant now. We had friends and neighbors. The schoolhouse rang with laughter. The meeting house had a minister who cared for us deeply. When we left with Thick Skin's band, the New Eden Town we'd built was no more. I miss it deeply. Beth misses it too, though she hides it. We're going back, packing our things once more and going home. To hell with whatever prowls the woods. God be with us. Judging by the stuff that is completely broken here. I wonder how to get over there. I don't know if this is something for later, maybe. Maybe I will be able to get some kind of projectile so I could shoot things down or whatnot. I don't know. But I don't know how I could reach it unless I could just leap over there now. Can I save? Maybe I should save first. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Okay. Nah, it doesn't work unless there's an enemy, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> okay. What was that? That sounded creepy. What was that? Jacob, is that you? Uh, hell's balls. <laughs> hell's balls. <laughs> Are you alright? Does it look like that? Uh, I'll be better right side up. What happened? Rope trap. Jacob Lind mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Is that a gun? Brilliant. It is. The musket? <laughs> Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water and the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please... Continue this conversation with my feet on the ground. <laughs> Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Ah! Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that <gasps> sense, banish. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait. <laughs> what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. 
Come back here. Show it. <laughs> Why not use I a... I suppose you can help me, can you? She that was them. entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. They come back? Something alive. Again? No. Oh. Walker is like, what's all this fuss around my hut here? Oh, the design is so cool. You have a you sword. How? Just cut yourself free. Go on, Taya. Go, 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 go. Yes. She's like, poof. <laughs> Bye. His timing is very different from those guys here. Blocking stance. When enemies are blocking, you can break through their defense with specific moves like charge attacks, manifestations, and perfect switches. What are perfect switches? <laughs> I don't know how to. I try to block it. <laughs> I try. I try learning his blocking. Your journey has ended. Oh well. Good game. <laughs> I try to practice blocking his attacks, but his they 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 seem so delayed. Oh no! Do I have to do the whole thing again for the conversation? Can we skip the cutscene? <laughs> Can you not block him? There you go. Not hard enough. That's what she said. Back oh. down to hell. Oh man, I wish I had like a crossbow or something. I can help. <laughs> it wasn't that difficult, but learning the timing for his attacks because they look different. The timings for it look different. Or at least to me it did. Oh well, we, we got it now, I think. Ooh, look at that. This game is so pretty. This stands out, doesn't it? Everything is so green, and then there's mountains, and these are... Looks different. Looks... looks... looks off a bit. <gasps> I want it! It's sparkly, I want it! Keep, 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 keep. Give me that. Wristband of Harmony? What's it do? 
Okay. I, I don't know if they share the same outfits. Ooh, that looks detailed and very pretty. I cannot upgrade because I'm not in a camp. It would be cool if you could make your own camps. Just decide, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna camp here now. Old Hunter's note. To them devils, as dirty as the place, with a rotten half-eaten bloody leavings and their sharp edged broken bloody arrowheads and whatnot. For shame. <laughs> this place is empty so long it's rotting. Oh, oh my god. Signs of life ahead. Yeah. Let's go there. Ooh. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I thought I thought that this this aligned with the gap on the on the rock so that it looked like a scythe. <laughs> I was like, ooh, can I take that? That would have been nice. Ooh, I see shinies. Oh, we're getting really close to our objective. Chervil. Now should I go this way or up here first? Huh. Up here it is. More loot. Leather straps. Okay. The sea is silent and scythe. You call it scythe? Okay. You never know. <laughs> Another bone guy. Okay. Hello. I guess I get to practice my my parrying with you, but this more. isn't over yet. She's saying run, I defeated them just now. <laughs> run, Red! This must be Ooh. the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. <laughs> she took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Mm. Can't know who you can trust. I guess they don't have wiggle room for mistakes and taking a leap of faith, basically. We did good against those bone walkers. Y you did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Really? Hard to believe, right? <laughs> they look pretty nasty. Fortifications. Hello. Grim face is not a good sign. Hello. So rest and restock, <laughs> then onwards to New Eden Town. Yes, ma'am. Can I talk to the villagers? Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Mm -hmm. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? No, oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. Have you left any family to come here? What's the word around here? What's new? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yes. Yeah, of course. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking, and I don't want one neither. 
have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! Okay, ma'am. Okay. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. <laughs> okay. You heard it, chat. We're looking for a husband. Sir, are you still available? Are you rich? Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher. How did you get here? Walking. With difficulty, I must admit. <laughs> Aye. Only the Nemers can handle a weapon, they brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp. Blockheads? Waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye. We're twins. Hmm. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories. Likes to hear herself talk. She likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about... I was wondering, what brought you to the new world? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. Becraith, but I'm behind on my chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Okay, you do your bit. Goodbye for now. I do mine. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. <laughs> I'll give my very best. In the meantime, I'm just taking what's yours, right? You don't mind. I love how he she is working in the dirt and he's just leaning against the fence and has a good time looking over the town. <laughs> Okay, find the Huntress. I also need to upgrade my stuff so maybe I'm lucky and I can find a resting camp for me and Anteo. Come on, give me... Ooh, what's in there? Okay. Hmm, I don't know if I should go through there yet. But this hut is locked as well. I don't know if they stay locked forever or if maybe I will gain access. Maybe the, the house owner needs to be there so it can knock. I don't know how this works. Let's see what's behind here. Climb, 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 climb. Ooh. That was... <laughs> that was the Tomb Raider loot button. Oops. <laughs> Lilac hyacinth piece of eight and leather. Okay. Huntress! Where are you? And there's a cave. And it seems there's a merchant and a question mark. Hmm. Lots of things to do. Oh, okay, it's just like a tunnel. Mm -hmm. Okay, it seems like I'm leaving the area. So I'm just gonna go back and go into town as the objective demands. <laughs> So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, 
Mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. Note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. It's there. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. If you survive your walk in the woods, that is. Hi, sir. Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. Scudder. Ah. Your service, sir. Sir, okay. And who are you? Your lordship? Lordship. I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? The beast? Yes. Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely clear on that whole situation just yet. The beast? The monster in the woods? Everyone knows about the beast. You should talk to Kate. Maybe she doesn't want you to know about the beast. Why not flee the curse? What's the word around here? Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of courage, you're a man of loyalty. You're a man of loyalty. You must believe in your community very much. Do you mean people? Yeah. I love people, really love them. Without people, oh, I'd be alone. When things are bad, best stick close to them you sus. know, don't you think? Sus. My susometer is like we. Oh, suddenly music stop. What's the word around here? How are things going around here, Credence? I uh, wouldn't know much, sir. I just do what I'm told. You should talk to the newsmiths. They're in charge around here. Hmm. The hunters. Okay. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. Ah, oh, I don't trust that fella. But I want to know more about the beast in the woods. If I may. Find the Huntress. So if they're the the bosses around here. Mm. Music rocks. Pretty cool. Oh, dead end. Okay, can't go there. It's this haircut that is untrustworthy. I don't know. Hello. I don't know you. Red McGrath, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. Oof. News travels fast. Yeah, they do. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why's that? The Albanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either. No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce, and hope is scarcer. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'll leave you then. Good day. Oof. The music is a bit weird sometimes. It sounds amazing, but it just cuts off randomly. Don't mind me taking your stuff, harvesting your plants and such. I see a shiny. I wish I could just jump through the window. And snatch. So many glistening things. Sir, do you know where... Wait, is that the... Merchant again. <laughs> I think that's the merchant, but the thing is, I don't know what I. Ah, up here! There's a camp, right? This this icon always. or like this um, smoke means there's a camp. So I assume this is their hut. And I can't go in. I hear a little magpie. Yeah, maybe a bit. I'm a little lootaholic. Ooh. K 
Okay, let's go down. Grab what's here. I don't know, maybe the place is bigger than I thought, but I thought in the uh, immediate surroundings up the hill I would find the Huntress. There's another hut around here. I know this is not where I'm supposed to go, but... Well... It's not where I came from, right? King James Bible, the official translation of the Christian Bible for the Church of England that also serves as the official Bible for Puritans. Some coin. Expecting Las Plagas to appear any moment. Hmm. Hmm. A few graves around here. Okay, where's this bloody huntress? Expected her to have a very nice house. Now I'm in the right area. Oh, what's this? Oh, Smith? New Smith? Might be it. Thick skins no to Fortune Heaton. Heaton. Our houses are a falling down and we need them nailed to build. And we need them nailed to build with. <laughs> Deliver soonest, if you will. No shite like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work, thick skin. Okay. Me in the meanwhile. <laughs> Grabbing all the things. It's a workbench. All the doors are closed. How am I supposed to find anybody here? Oh, maybe up there. This looks promising. You made it. Where? I heard a voice. Up there? Ah, oh, there she is. So... You found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. <laughs> I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. <laughs> I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Mm. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. Ooh. 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 She's been corrupted by the hunger for essence. May my skills be of use. What happened to New Eden Town? How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who really? puts the food aright is a hero indeed. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. 
His already meagre skills have lately declined. <laughs> Dr Jane, Dr Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Okay. Welcome to the dark woods. Have you seen many bone walkers? Because I already destroyed two of those, Malakas. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? <laughs> Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Why are you lying? Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Maybe. Alrighty, about the nightmare. Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams. Aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. Ooh. It howls and hunts from the shadows. I'm excited. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me Tell more about, me about the beast. This beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. Okay. What's the word around here? I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Where's your sister? Out. Making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. <laughs> wow. Have you been here long? Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would thick skin say? <laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who here needs help? Who about the place needs help, do you think? Does she have Something's more names now? right at the forge. You could start there. Okay. Forge. Forge. Goodbye. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. Why? Why would I need it? Is she is your sister gonna beat me up? <laughs> Do we have to fight her? Um find your shelter this way. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. Mm. A tree fell on it, she said. Oh yeah, there it is. Well it looks like the roof was pretty stable enough to break this like a twig. <laughs> Ah, nice. Can go in. Sweet. I've slept in worse. Mm. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean to. <laughs> Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go. What is a ghost made of? Ooh, that sounds interesting. Interesting. 
Traditions and old writing teach us that ghosts are one of the many types of undead creatures lurking in the dark, like the dreadful vampires. Ooh, I studied and observed in my younger years. They feed from the living and threaten them. But I truly believe ghosts are mainly made of memory, memory of who they were, what they did or what was done to them, memory of what they should have done or not. May has it been happy, hurtful or vile, ghosts are tied to their past. And as they slowly decay and forget who they were and why they remained behind, ghosts can only rely to that particular event, item, word or emotion that provided them from escaping our world after death. Like snails and slugs, they leave fragments of these defining events wherever they go, like shreds of the very fabric they are made of. Some call them vest Vestiges? Vestiges? I don't know. Others call them echoes. Banishers should always pay attention to these traces left by the ghosts. They often tell the very reason why they are still here. The sad part being, as they constantly repeat and come back to the reason why they stayed, they irremediably forget everything else until the day they cease to be who they were. <sighs> that makes me a bit sad about the future that I will have to face with Antea, forgetting who she is, becoming more and more less herself, forgetting who she is. I'm scared of that. My dear Evelyn, as you know, Alexander and I must go home. The new Smith's plan seemed the right one, but now God calls our hearts back to New Eden. The horses and their pastures are gone, but the house yet stands. We shall rebuild, or we shall die there, where we belong at home. I write now, for I must thank you for your kindness and your unwavering encouragement, especially when I thought my rotten lungs would be the death of me. Thank you sincerely, and may God bless you, your dearest friend, Elizabeth. There was a book here. King James Bible. Ah, another one of those. All right, let's light the fire. Now we need to check our upgrades, right? There's stuff at evolution. Oh god, um... So I can upgrade everything leap-related? Counterblow. Perfect switch. Ah, oh, that was one of the things that I could use to break a block, right? Switch to Antea right after you block an attack to trigger a punch attack that ignores resistance, okay? Deafening... Defeating an enemy with heavy attack reduces the next damage taken by 90. Ooh. Charged heavy attacks damage is increased. Can I even... I have one level point. Oof, that's not a lot, is it? The fourth heavy attack triggers a punch attack. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you can refund. Oh, you can you can respec any time? Spectral ignition. I don't have these blue things yet, so... Uh, let's check the other one first. Pocket of holding, maximum decoction charges, so I can just waste them away. <laughs> banish points, gains are increased by 20%, but banish damage is reduced. Meh. The charged heavy attacks trigger an area of effect. That might be nice. So when I'm surrounded by multiple, I could stagger them by just using a heavy attack and then get myself out of the thicket. Maximum decoction charge, well, I read this already. Um, invigorate, banishing an enemy increase the damage of the next heavy attack by 200%. Perfect switch to Antea right after front dodge. Mm. Resilience. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 15% the higher the health points. Mm. Uh, which one was it? Yeah, this one. Let's go. Okay. Inventory. Now, we do have a few things that we could upgrade, right? This one. Wristband, amulet, brooch, and rifle. Oh, I want the rifle! Give me the rifle. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Let's close. Oh, can I? No, I think the blue suits him quite well. How about Antea? How can I? Can I also switch to Antea and give her? Stuff. Oh, upgrade, upgrade. No, Scourge Accretion. Oh, sc 
Rat. <laughs> mm, it doesn't say if I could switch the character, right? Okay, rest and fast travel. Mm, okay, let's rest. Are you sure you want to rest? Yes, please give me my potions back that I just wasted. <laughs> I like this resting scene with her just watching over him. It's cute. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> what a gentleman. Now, off to the smith, right? Right. Let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Yep. The Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. What is it? Hammer and tongs. Squire Paris's note to Fortune Heaton. My dear friend blacksmith, the rim on my card wheel remains broken. As I understood it, you were to fix it. Is there a problem? To work, sir. And the sooner the better, thank you. Squire Paris. Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Mine, oh mine. Mine, oh mine. Greedy ghosts. Mine, oh mine. The ghost of a fellow ludaholic. That ghost sounds nasty. <laughs> that ghost sounds obsessed. And greedy. <laughs> that drill bit is dull as a hammer. Maybe we can use it to open the door still? What kind of forge has no tools? Broken nails? These nails look brittle. brittle. Metal working isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. <laughs> Can't be easy to make. Sorry, I already clicked before she was saying anything. Um, the blacksmith's work is no better than a novice's. Oh boy, he's a shitty blacksmith. Maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. What's that note say? Heaton, our horses are falling. D oh yeah, I already read this earlier. Okay. This note I already read before, so. Do you think I could just walk through as her, as Antea? Damn it! <gasps> oh, <gasps> gee, calm down. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you? <laughs> Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent. Thanks. And I like your manner, too. Ooh. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. She's flirting with me. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> Is your husband around? Just, like, calmly, smoothly asking if she's taken. Um, the forge is quite empty. The forge is empty. No tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Found a puddle of salt water. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? Wait. You went into the forge without asking? The door was open. Also, there was a puddle on the floor, which turned out to be salty. Well, it's rude, but this time I'll let you off. The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. Seawater. Hmm, could be seawater. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord. Maybe her husband Am I died. In danger? 
Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it. I hope not. What's the word around here? So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How about thick skin. What think you of thick skin, new Smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yes. What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Gone looking for material? Did you fight? Did you fight? We're best friends. We don't fight. He's a good man. He never lies. He'll put you at your ease, and before you know it, you're laughing. He is also devout. Almost forgot. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. Yeah. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Okay, then show it. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. <laughs> okay. Can I loot what's in the chest? <laughs> oh, she. Oh. Hint obtained. Coming to New Eden saved Nelly and Heaton's marriage. Okay. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. Okay, there's ghostly stuff. You don't need that, do you? Thanks. What's this? Nelly Heaton's journal. Oh, oopsie boobans. Uh, might might be might be important for the case. <clears throat> 1694, April 4th. I have found a friend, a dear, dear friend, a good man who has sin sinned at times, but wishes no harm on anyone. He speaks to me with respect, and I like an eye to him likewise. He listens to me with interest, and I to him the same. Above all, he's kind. This, I think, is the greatest of things a man can be. He, We know our men by their wealth or by their con conquests when really we should know them by their kindness. I shall cherish this page as it marks the moment I saw life on more favorable terms. Is this is this about her husband? I hope. I hope it's not about some other fella. Governor Haskell's letter to Fortune Heaton, March 2nd. In this, the year of our Lord, 1694, from the pen of the most honorable Fairfax H. Haskell, governor of the colonies of New Eden and Roundabouts, to Master Fortune Heaton, Heaton's Forge, or Smithy, Brace Monks, London. Letter of appointment. My dear, most fortunate Mr. Heaton, further to our most recent and urgent correspondence, I refer to your last letter, dated 14th of December, in which you confirm your desire to join the colony of New Eden, wherefore to practice the trade of blacksmithing. As you are known in London, as in Boston, as a blacksmith 
of some renown and indeed a Puritan of impeccable faith, I have the pleasure of confirming that a place awaits you here. We shall provide you with a small holding in which to establish your business and while we shall endeavor to provide you with whatever materials you should require, pray bring whichever tools you may need as they can be scarce here at times. Scarce. Um, please reply immediately, at least within a month, and book passage at your earliest convenience. I have enclosed a stipend, stipend? I don't know, which for with to pay the fare. With fields to plow and horses to shoe, we are in urgent need of your services. We shall expect you before winter. To all who should be concerned, herewith let it be known that Fortune Heaton has been contracted to the colony of New Eden as the new blacksmith. Yours most sincerely, Governor Fairfax. Okay. Why the yelling at the end? I have a feeling about the bed. I sense a fragment of the past. A fragment of the past. Okay. That would be hearkening, right? Reveal an echo. Please let this be right. <laughs> Sorry for ruining your floor, man. Reunius fat aster himi. Did I do wrong? Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. no. That's his wife. <sighs> no. Not yours. Maybe he's haunted, possessed by some beast, some ghost, some, some nasty being. Be gone, foul ghost. Yeah, yeah, you leave. That's no ghost threatening many. That's her husband. It seemed that he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Look for tracks. I've seen some footprints here. There are stains here. I can show you them. Do Let's it. See if the trail leads to our blacksmith. Reveal the spectral stains. Reveal. A moment. Boom. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts. How much time we could have saved. <laughs> Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. <laughs> Okay. Am I still on the right track? Please tell me I'm still on the right track. Oh yeah, I am. Okay, whew. Squish. I don't know if I can also see them as red. I don't see anything anymore, so... Ah, yeah. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? The ghost haunts fortune. Fortune is the ghost. A ghost haunts fortune Heaton mm -hmm. and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? I don't know. Isn't that what we're trying to find out together? The hammer looks fit to shatter the Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, this is a big area. I. There's a sign there, like a fish. Like a little opening here in the woods. Maybe, maybe there's gonna be a nasty fight. No? Okay. Oh, hello. Oh crap, this wasn't block button, oops. <laughs> I'm getting quite strong, eh? I'm hitting them and killing them quite fastly now. I like. Okay, where are the footprints? This way. 
Can I open this now? No, okay. I'm a baby banisher yet, I can't open the cool things. I'm dodging, I'm dodging! There's a tough one. No. God, calm down, sir. Holy Mary, pray for me, Saint Joseph. Holy Jesus, Mary and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Help me, please! I'm, what do you think I'm doing? One less to worry about. Come <laughs> out. To safe. Uh, are they, are they gone? They are. Hello. Oh, thank you. Whoever you may be, for whatever you have done, I oh, thank you. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? Ooh, I have two options. You're the camp's blacksmith? So, you're the blacksmith? What's that like then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. <laughs> Weird question. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Uh, lots of building work to be done. That means nails, whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. <laughs> You're about Nelly. How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh, Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nellie is a, a fine woman. Clever, brave, generous and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just uh, met. <laughs> does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. A wee bit of romance is good for a man. Romance? It's not. I... Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stay together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. Is I have the feeling he's not, yeah, definitely I feel like he's not really loving his wife and either he is love for another person or he's just very weird I don't know yet <laughs> I heard you praying what are you doing here what are you doing out here anyway do you not fear the prowling beast oh I needed a walk a bit of fresh air a bit of light <laughs> forges well it's dark and hot isn't it I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why'd you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the tools tell you to kill your wife? The forge will remain haunted. I want to ask both, but first I want to know this. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe. No, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. 
Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, I can help. I heard you praying. I heard you praying? I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. I won't tell a soul. I'm not here for you. I won't tell a soul. Not my business. I won't tell a soul. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, Mark is no better than a novice's, and despite what everyone believes, the blacksmith is not a Puritan. Okay, let's see. Let me go inside. Inspect the tools in the cabin. Uh, an echo whispered into me. Ooh, big chest. Loot! Keep, 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 keep! <laughs> Odd. What can I do about this? Hmm. Reveal. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. Intent not obtained. A saltwater ghost lays claim to the forge and all its tools. The tools were provided by the governor, right? If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Look for tracks, maybe behind here? Reveal them tracks! Follow the spectral stains, okay. I don't know if I would call them stains. Maybe, yeah, maybe the the colored stuff, yeah. But it looks like just footprints to me. Traces. Yoink. I like that when you are playing as her, everything looks like fall. <laughs> Colors are really nice. <laughs> My precious toys. <laughs> Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's lying. He's haunted. Uh, they who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. With this game, I don't know if with the decisions that I'm doing, the, the like this one that I just had, if I'm deciding... Or am I just guessing, you know? Sometimes you are guessing, but actually you're deciding what people are doing, and then you act accordingly. But sometimes, what, what if I'm wrong? <laughs> what is this? Oh, well, there's a camp close by them. Interesting. Okay, let's follow the tracks first. This way. Is it just me or I felt it too. Shooing a ling ling. More wolves. Blast it, pest! 
It's fine. They're dead. But thanks. Thanks, love. Um, I'll need help with... Uh, I'll probably need help with the tracks again because they're gone now. Is it up here? No. Something here, though. Remove the web! Okay. So now, follow the tricks again, the stains. Alright. I hope I expressed my, um, my question about it, uh, well enough. <laughs> For example, in some games, you make your guess and you follow your, your your guesses, and then it turns out you're wrong. But in some games, basically, you kind of decide what people have done. Oh, it's one of the leap thingies again. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Hammer. No, to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes. Gone around. That would be a shame. <laughs> Why we did you say this is sarcastic? How, how about we just go around? Looks like we could go around. Well, definitely not go up. That's kind of counterproductive. Okay, maybe we cannot just go around. Never mind. <laughs> maybe we could do the leap from here. What is this? These things. I wish. I wish I would know what it is. It looks like it's a wisp, but caught in a bone cage or something. A rib cage. <laughs> um, no. Oh, I have to go up. I get it now. I have to go up so I get the right position from which I can leap then from. Right? Guess. Yoink, yoink. Oh god, that is quite the leap. Woo! Yeet. Okay. Oh, big loot chest. That's, that's a... A deer, these noises. Where I come from, we heard this a lot as well. <laughs> it sounds so creepy, right? Oh, when the foxes scream, that's also very creepy. It sounds like a man gets murdered. I sense a trap. Not I again. I sense an echo. Ooh. All Ooh. right then, let's trigger the trap. You go first, Antea. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, this? No. What? This is leaping backwards? What do they mean? They sense a trap and where? Hmm. Give me loot, please. Yes. And right. Good business. No, 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 no. What? Well, of course, is this hard? <laughs> Try this on yourselves.
Did I destroy the tormented? Possession incoming. Where? Where? No. No! Not hard enough. Stop backseating. I'm a bit of this. I knew it. Do you have to press something specific when you want to interrupt a possession? Because I always try attacking and that never works. Maybe I'm always too late? I don't know. But I've been wondering about this. <laughs> Okay, where are the footprints? I see gleamy, shiny load. I want to get it. Keep, 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 keep. It's me. Okay, I don't know how to interact with this. Hmm. Hmm. Why would I be going over here? What's there? Nothing, okay. I can't use leap into it. I thought maybe like a really str strong punch, but it doesn't let me. Oh, I have to do this, whatever this is. Inspect. Okay, hammer. Hammer That's time. enough, Nelly. I warned you. Oh. I warned you this would happen again. Bro. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. Bro. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. Oh. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh, she was married to another. Oh. What do you want to do? A worn blacksmith's flatter, wet and shrouded with spectral stains. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, the ess this essence will be automatically consumed by Antea. Okay. Oh, mother birds. Killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to the. G oh man, I always expect there's a break and then I can look at it. Um, aboard ship when Nelly was threatened by a man with a hammer, the blacksmith protected her. She was married to that that man. <laughs> and she wanted a divorce, and then his yeah. ghost. Hint obtained about the ghost as well. The man was killed at sea with his own hammer. So they came here. <gasps> he is not. Oh! He is not the real blacksmith. That's why his quality is so shy. They killed the real blacksmith. And now he pretends to be the blacksmith because he took his name. Because the. Ah! Okay. Perform ritual. Um. Oh god, what do we do? Reveal an echo? No, I need to make a manifest, right? So I can fight him? Can I save? Okay. 
Uncover the ghost's true identity. Make the ghost manifest. Okay, good. Make manifest. Let's go. The tattoos on the hands and the rings and everything. The details are cool. Stabbing the poor ground again. Femi me got him. Femi me. Femi me. Femi me me me. You ass. <laughs> We are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? Fortune. <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? <laughs> Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? Doesn't she get the irony in that? <sighs> My forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmiths are fraud? Yeah, slow poke. So she says, it's no no use talking to the dead, and literally, she is dead. <laughs> uh, you're driving blacksmith mad. What happened to you? Let's ask that first. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Erin. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. No, she had the hammer in That's hand. not what I saw. You're driving the blacksmith mad. He's not a blacksmith, but you're driving him mad. <laughs> You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall have it back. Why are you here? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. But you're dead. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. <laughs> I think this guy definitely goes on the banish list, not the ascent list. <laughs> Goodbye. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why. Oh, sorry. Okay, the blacksmith Fortune Heaton is an imposter. Despite what everyone believes, he's not a Puritan. Supposedly, honorable blacksmith lied. Work is better than novices, yeah, because he's bad. Fortune. Um, the ghost lays claim to Fortune Eden's name. Saltwater ghost lays claim the forge as well. A man was killed at sea with his own hammer. Back from his watery grave, the ghost of Fortune Heaton wants revenge on Nelly and the man who took his place. So there's one more claim, uh, one more hint about her. So I guess I gotta go talk to Fortune her again. Fortune died. Rest at the high cave shelter. Where's that? Here? This way? Murder is murder. In fairness, I've heard of worse murders. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. Ooh. I like these fancy chests with, um... Glowing runes and such like this looks pretty cool. He's gross, yeah. Full foie. I don't know what that is. What is that? A ring. Ooh. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 40% the lower spirit gauge. 
gauge, sorry. Hmm. Hope I'm on the right track. It looks a bit like it. Return to the forge and rest at the high cave shelter. I don't know how to select the optional thing. Maybe this this way there? Oh, I see some enemies to fight down there. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. <laughs> No, nah, I'm not ascending that bastard. I don't like the way he's talking about his wife and the way he claims property to a person and all that stuff. And then he was hitting her as well. Not a good man. Not a good soul. He can go to oblivion. Travel between shelters. There is a shelter nearby. By reaching it, you may travel towards another shelter to get to your destination faster. You can recognize a shelter by the red flag and smoke in the entry. This way. Okay. Oh, sweet. I need to stop at some point. Here would be alright. <laughs> High cave discovered. Lovely. Okay, take whatever Could that was. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Makeshift camp Maps cache. Don't know. Oh man, I hate that. <laughs> okay, a treasure map. It says, or they said. X marks the spot, I guess. Necessarily lead to treasure. No. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. <laughs> we'll see. First we rest. And we see if we can upgrade stuff. I think there were a few things in the inventory, but um this one? Upgrade available. Let's go. Sweet. Let's just rest. You sure you want to rest? Yes. And now we could technically fast travel to the forge area again, right? To the Dark Woods camp, or how it's called. Yeah, his attitude makes me furious. Yeah, he doesn't seem like a guy that is worth descending anywhere. <laughs> He's just a good upstanding Puritan. What? Get out of here. Okay, let's let's try fast traveling for the first time. You may travel between the shelters you've discovered throughout the world. Traveling causes a time lapse after which enemies respawn and decoction and resources are replenished. Okay. So, Hunter's Camp. This is where we need to go, right? Travel. I really like these drawings. I think they're beautiful. Very well done. Very artistic. I like the style. Very cool. I like. So, is the, the guy back? Ooh, hello. Spectral dust and witch stone. Okay. Take the lever. I think Fortune's ghost is here. You should Let's end something. this now. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He knows. He's no fool. I am no Puritan, he must know that at least. Well, you told him, you idiot. <laughs> you imbecile. <laughs> mm, mine, mine, oh mine, oh mine. You again. <laughs> Goodbye. Piss off, Heaton. <laughs> and no more scheming. <laughs> Piss off, Heaton. Okay, can I can I go in from Ah, oh, there's another door, okay. Hush. Piss off. Banisher, you're back. 
Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Heaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. It's time indeed. How did you two meet, yeah? How did you two meet? <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He's as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. That's what the letter was about. Companionship on the companion way. How very charming. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. Who are you exactly? You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. To hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. Makes sense. <laughs> Okay, tell me your side of the story now. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? He lifted a we hand. didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. No regrets. How convenient. Hmm. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. Time to bring closure. Ooh. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor, and his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Banish him. You will forcibly banish the ghost to oblivion with a banishment ritual. This decision will contribute to Antia's ascend. Blame, blame. No, I think he can just go. Banish. Our first banishment! Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. 
Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Nope. Not anymore. Be gone. You are dead. You are no more. I... Ooh, that looked so cool! Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. My eternal gratitude to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCraith. Thank you for giving us a chance. Did I read this already? Yeah. Okay. Well, the animation for Banishment was so cool. I really like that. <laughs> All the particles flying around. Like, Wee! All right, guys. We did one of those side missions. Talk to Kate. I don't know if I have to report back to her or if I could just go and do the next one because there was another quest that I should be doing, right? Wasn't I supposed to talk to somebody this else? This house as well? here. Look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Prudence in all things. Let's follow that. Investigate the house. But I think that, my friends, we will do after a short break. So I will get myself coffee or tea or something and then we will continue with this. Really enjoyed that quest line. Really cool. I like these... You feel a bit like a, like a detective figuring out what happened. And it's cool that you can decide whether to blame or not. So I guess depending on how much attention you pay and how much you ask questions and investigate the area, the more information you get and then the better of a decision you can make. Or you just go with your gut. I don't know. Judge, jury and executioner. Yeah, exactly. I'm... I'm all of it. But yeah, a short break now and I see you afterwards.